Go! Looks like Mike's house. Hey everybody, we're back here working on the 83 Oldsmobile Cutlass project. And we're fixing the frame and we're also doing the uh, rear bumper. But we're gonna replace this. So far I have a lot of work done. I cut out the uh, wheel well, or the spare tire well. And I'm not gonna put it back in. I'm gonna put a flat plate on. Gives us some more room down here. So here we go. I'm just getting done painting everything. So what I'm gonna do right now is throw a quick little slideshow in and you can see the progress of this. I didn't take a lot of pictures, but I think I got enough to, to give you a gist of what's going on. So hold on, here it goes. yeah so that was a slideshow of it um, not really uh, let's see this is super strong this is real strong um, I would have no problem putting a tow hitch on this on these rear frame rails I just got done painting them uh, the bumpy stuff is all seam sealer you could see what you've seen in the pictures I use the uh, tractor supply implement uh, paint. Same paint that I used on my S10 over there. On the bottom underneath. Underneath, I should say. So let's go underneath, take a look. This turned out to be a lot bigger project than I expected it to. Um, I guess what happened was I cheaped out our, let's see, yeah, I guess I cheaped out. Um, I could have got two used rear frame reels off of Facebook Marketplace uh, out of Massachusetts, and I'm in Connecticut, but it was like a two hour ride for, a, and he want, the guy wanted 150 bucks for the two rear sections, which really wasn't a bad price. He probably would have came down too on the price. Um, I didn't do it. I cheaped out. I figured, oh, let me just throw some, uh, I got 3 16 plate going all the way down, top, uh, sides and bottom. And here we go. And this turned out to be a bear of a job doing it like this. I would have been done in like two days, if, two, three days if I would have just, um, bought the frame sections, the used frame pieces, or I could have gotten new frame pieces for $300. They're all listed on, um, just Google search it. But I went this route basically because I uh, cheaped out and that was a mistake. I should have just bought the new frame rails and I would have been over and done with. This was a real pain. Uh, fabricating this and engineering it so it'll be strong. And it is strong. Like I said, I'd have no problem putting a trailer hitch on this on these rear frame rails right here. Oh, uh, it just took a lot. It probably took five times longer than it would have taken if I would have just bought two frame rails, boxed in the inside of the frame. Slipped it on, you know, some plug welds, then weld around it, grind it, put a couple plates on it, all four sides, and that would have been super strong. I, I would have been done a lot faster than what I did here. So beware if you go to go do something like this, that it's probably just a lot quicker to do it the right way with replacement parts. Unless you're cheap like me. <laughs> but that bit me in the butt. That bit me. It took all week to get this done. And I still have to make the, uh, 
the floor plates here. So let's go up there, take a look, and we'll go from there. Alright, so now I gotta make a new, I mean I could just weld this back in if I wanted to. It's not rotted, there's nothing wrong with it. Um, I'm just not gonna, I w I'd rather have the room down here. So, we're gonna make a piece to put on here. We have to make a piece to go on this side too. This over here, the, the frame mount was shot. It was laying there, so I had to make my own frame mount. I, I actually used a hockey puck on this. So there we go, she's super solid. Um, this one's in pretty good shape on this side, but I screwed up by cutting this. It should have looked before I cut, so now I gotta weld this back together. Because the frame mount's right underneath here. And this one's solid, so I don't have to worry about that. But now I have to fix this, and I have to put a piece over it. And uh, yeah, we'll seam seal it, paint it up. Top and bottom. Um, there goes the rear bumper. Yeah, this thing's shot. So I got a, I bought a used one from California, I'll show in a second. Now if you look over here, I have some rot on the bottom here. I'm not gonna fix any of this in this part of the project right now. Only because I have, I have to finish this and I have other things I have to do too. A couple other, especially on the vet. So, um, yeah. So let's go take a look at the, uh, All right, this bumper I paid 300 bucks delivered from all the way from California. It's in really good shape. I'm even gonna leave the uh, California State uh, AAA sticker on it, but yeah, not bad at all. I couldn't find a bumper for the longest time for this car. One that was reasonably priced. Everything I looked at, they wanted five, six hundred dollars for. Finally, eBay showed up with this one. Out of California, absolutely zero rot on it. Yeah, so this thing's good. Yeah, so that's the, uh, that's the bumper right here. So next step is going to be, I have to, the only side, I couldn't get like uh, 18 or 20 gauge steel. So I believe this is 1 16th steel. I have to make the big patch panel out of that for the uh, tire, spare tire hole. Uh, and I got a bunch of little pieces to patch up the other side here. That's probably uh, 16 gauge right there. So, yeah, I have to get going on that. All right, so next uh, update will be as far as this goes, will be uh, when I at least get one patch panel done on the floor, and we'll go from there. All righty, bye-bye. All right, we're back here. Uh, we're going to do a nice little update here. This is a better, uh, better part of the day right here. I have it all tacked in. Yeah. It's not easy when you're working with this thick plate stuff, metal. Yeah, it's, I'm not equipped for this kind of thing, so it's really hard like to put the bends in. So I got it all tacked in. Um, I'm gonna put some sealer all around it so you won't see all this mess. I put a little bit of reinforcement here all the way around, and I just used scrap metal for that. I'll take a look down here, I'll show you. All right, here we go. So here's the underneath. See how I just used scrap metal? I didn't even cut it. I just put it in, welded it on. That's good. That gave me a little bit more reinforcement what I wanted. And that's it. I uh, just got a uh, seam seal all underneath here too. And that's it. I will have this done, then we gotta do this side next. That'll be tomorrow. It's a shame these rails got rusty like they did. From right here, back. From like middle of this forward, nothing wrong with it. And if you look underneath this car, 
this really isn't it's still like I'm not gonna say new but there's no rot or rust barely even got surface rust on this the floors are all mint Yeah, weird, huh? Just these two back rails. If it wasn't for these, this thing would be should be cherry. Oh shit! Nice windy day out here. Yeah, so all it is is just these two back rails right here, and the rest of the car. I mean, it's like new, almost new. We'll see. Okay. Yeah, weird. Yeah, so it is what it is, right? Now, when I'm done seam sealing all underneath here, I'm going to paint this whole section right here, this whole thing. So it'll be all nice and black. The seam seal will hide a lot of this mess underneath here. Now, this isn't a Barrett Jackson, Jackson's type of car. It's not going to auction. She's never going to be a mint uh, show trailer queen show car. So, I mean, doing it like this on this car, it's fine. If I really wanted to take my time, I would have just cut the whole trunk out, put a whole new one in. Um, I would have bought the kit for this uh, wheel well right here, or I would have bought the right metal and took my time doing it correctly. This car isn't that, and I got too many other projects going on. Between this thing and cam sensors, the Corvette project, I got a ton of parts for that stuff I want to throw on. It's just all tune-up stuff. Um, I got a, like I said, I got a bunch of things I got to do, so I don't have the time to sit here and make, on this particular car, perfect. Like this one over here, yeah, we always do it right on the GN. The uh, Corvette, we always do it right on the Corvette, too. On this thing, whatever. All this thing is going to be is a whole shot car, you know? Put a nice little 350 in it, 410 rear end, and just go do burnouts with it. That type of car. It's nothing. It'll never be anything fancy. So anyways, let me get this seam seal, and then, uh, yeah. I'll give you guys a look, and then tomorrow we'll work on this. Bye. All right, we're going to wrap up today here. We got done what we wanted accomplished. Um, yeah, the part's all in. The seam sealer's on. It looks good. Far from perfect, but not bad at all either, though. At the same rate, so I'm happy here. Yeah. So no complaints there. Let's take a look at the bottom real quick. Boom. All right. Here we go. All seam sealed. Yeah, it looks nice. And once it's painted, I'm having a feeling she'll look pretty darn good. So yeah, so that's it for this. Yeah, we gotta start this next, but that's gonna be another day. All right, so I'll be back. All right, we're back here, it's the next day. Um, I just got done uh, ham and egg this together. Not my finest work, I didn't even bother cutting anything. I just, whatever scraps I found, I just put them in there. And then we're gonna seam seal and paint all this. Um, yeah, on this car, like I said, this is good enough. If you watch some of my other videos, especially with the Jeep, I, I welded everything correctly on, the, on that. In other projects, I did right. This one, I'm not so not, not too worried about this thing. Because once you seam seal it, paint it, then I put the carpet back on the back of this thing. It does have a carpet. And, yeah, you're never going to even know. Only I will. And those who watch the video. <laughs> so there we go. So let me get this vacuumed out here. I put some seam sealer on it. And uh, yeah, we're almost there. I got to paint all up here. I got to paint underneath. And uh, yeah, let's, we'll go from there. See how quick the seam sealer dries. Yesterday's stuff is already dry, so I don't know how far we're going to get. We might have to leave this side over here till tomorrow as far as painting goes. But everything else from like here, there, top and bottom we could paint. All right, so let me get vacuuming here, and uh, yeah, I'll update as we go. Bye-bye. All right, we got her all done. Well, we got the floor done anyways. Here she is, all painted. Seam sealed.
There we go. Yeah, the sun's not ideal right now. But I think it looks pretty good. Once you put the carpet on top of it, you won't even see any of this. So, that's some good news right there. Let's go underneath, take a look. Yeah, for that mess, it came out pretty good. Mm. All right, here goes the underneath. Everything's painted. Let's see if we got light here. Yeah, nice. Yeah, not too bad, not too bad. And pretty much painted everything here. And yeah, I'm happy with this. So, all we got left to do, let me get up. getting old <laughs> one thing we got left to do is change this back bumper and install the gas tank in that order but you know what we're gonna make that another video because this one's long enough so there we go so yeah frame rails are repaired trunks all fixed up I have the factory carpet that goes in here we'll throw that on top and uh, yeah that should get us for another few years the way that showed up for the way that uh, came out so yeah um yeah that's the end of this video right here next video is going to be uh putting a bumper and gas tank back in and that's it as far as this goes so uh yeah thanks for watching uh leave a comment thank you bye bye